right here, little stacks, Tim's. What do you think? This is the first time we're going in together. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. Hey, Tim. Hey. How you doing? I brought my son Little Stacks in. Uh, <laughs> That's his nickname on the YouTube channel. <laughs> I don't want to get your face clapped. Yeah, <laughs> That's okay. All right. Yeah, <clears throat> Mr. Marshner. Hi, boys. Are you the one who gets to inherit the stash? Huh? Uh, probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure I want to include the stack in the will. What do you think? Love hey, look at that. See? I told you. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's there. We got some silver out. He doesn't put me with the gold anymore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. At least he doesn't put me with the German metals. Boy, that's the last thing I need. <laughs> oh, pretty cool. Yeah. There it is. Look at that. So you had some people in here recently um, ask, or, or, or trying to hope to see me or something? Yeah, Saturday. Saturday, that's so cool. <clears throat> Three people came in that were aware of you. One is the guy who works for the Subaru place down the street. Yes. He always says, oh, I just missed him again. <laughs> yeah, he's just here. <clears throat> yeah, he wants five, ten ounce. I think my daughter's going to stop by with some tea and honey. Oh, that's nice. That'll help. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's what you need. You need your kids to um, grow up and take care of you. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, little stacks? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What does it say? It says, this, this is the way. Is the way. The Mandalorian, yeah. I love it. Why don't you just bring out a tube of American Silver Eagles? I might, I might get some myself. <laughs> we'll see. I think I... Didn't I yank about... Half out of one of your tubes or something, or I yeah, but I had somebody come in on Saturday and buy ten. Oh, well, that's <clears> not right. <laughs> I have a I have a tube that's half full of ten, so I was gonna top it off. I think. Hmm. These are guaranteed. I don't know about any of the other tubes. Yeah, those are the at mix ones, right? Should we open that one? Would you say when I pulled this I out said, of it? I need to keep that card handy because one of these days, that place may be for sale. You're not selling this, are you? Well, maybe you and your community could get together and the money to buy it. You <gasps> could even have the building. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, well, Mrs. Yankee was actually saying, wouldn't it be fun if you just bought that coin shop from Tim? And I went, wait a minute. <laughs> he knows too much. You've done this for... Decades, man. I, I don't know that I don't know the next thing about coins and all the knowledge that you've grown. Plus, you've got relationships with wholesalers and things that I would never be able to establish at my age. <clears throat> Take you around, introduce you. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. How would you like to work at a coin shop? <laughs> I could get you in here. <laughs> oh my word, that would be hysterical. I'm learning the key dates too, little stack, so maybe I can. They may all be early ones. Yeah, they might be. A lot of tone ones in here. Oh. Hope that makes you feel better, man. <laughs> yeah. Might even be an older. Ooh, 1986, first year they came out with it. I just, I just need to find a, a coin dealer that knows where I might be able to find some ugly collar circulated in the silver eagles. Do you know? Do you know where I could find them? No. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Maybe Tim has some. Even maybe one with, a, I don't know, Obama's face on it or, or Elizabeth Warren's face. <laughs> they wouldn't even get That's into the big. store. There's a winner! Hey! Somebody in my community wanted barbers for the Yankee Swap. I'm loving them, but they gotta be the right dates. Non-key dates. 
Another winner. Okay, we've got winners. <laughs> Very cool. Junk is junk. junk. You heard it here. Junk is junk. Another winner. <laughs> Let's make sure there's no Liberty showing. Okay. Liberty showing. Hmm. That's actually a pretty good one. Oh, that's an S mark. Let's see. OAS. That's 25 bucks. No, I got the wrong one. <laughs> Looking in the wrong place. Try again, Tim. All right. It's a winner. Okay. So we're going to go for 11 of these, I think. The condition is most of this tube is just good or very good. Very good, yeah. And I have a hard time not looking at these. That's pretty. Oh, check it out. One full ounce, 24 karat gold maple leaves. Mm. 14, 15, 16 are much more expensive. Even because Philadelphia. They, 13, yeah, they lower 14, the 15, and 16? Yeah. Oh. 13 is 55. Wow. 14 is 90. Whoa. 15 is 60. I gotta get this clarified. Sorry. So okay. it's fifteen. You said it, that the the ratio from gold to silver back with Jefferson. Jefferson was, made a suggestion that it should be twenty five to one. Twenty five to one. Because he had a collection of gold coins and silver coins from around the world, and his uh, thesis was that in actual commerce the ratio is twenty five to one. That's what it should be. Well, that's what. He's, he he's suggested. His suggestion. Okay. okay. So what was it really? Though? When the mint was established, they established by law fifteen to one, but they never made coins that were fifteen to one. They made them initially at sixteen to one. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, um, you know, the silver was basically flying out of the country, but the reason they established it fifteen to one was because we had, as a country, when the country was founded, we had an abundance of silver. And we were at a, there was a gold shortage because, you know, oh. private miners were not turning it over to the government. The government had to buy it. So they, um, they since there was basically a shortage of the gold, they made the ratio 15 to 1 by law. Uh -huh. It never was 15 to 1, and the coins came out at 16 to 1. Okay. Uh, but then in 1834, I think it was, um, they had to revise the, the coins. They had accumulated more gold. You know, through yeah. mining operations around the country, um, and that's when the ratio it got it was changed a couple of times for individual coins, but mm -hmm. it came out to be twenty five to one, Very which interesting. is interesting. And now that that's is. you know Jefferson based his theory on commerce, commerce from around the world. Um, as it turned out, commerce is what established it at twenty five to one. And if you just take the interesting, the, I wonder if that's the same with take the gold, gold content of a twenty dollar gold piece. All right, because that's closest to an ounce. Okay. It's point nine six seven five of a troy ounce. Okay, ninety six point seven five percent of a troy ounce. The uh, gold, silver dollar was point seven seven three four four percent of a troy ounce. Okay, uh, if you take the ninety six seventy five divide by seventy seven three four four. Yeah. You get a factor, but then the twenty-dollar gold piece is twenty times the value of the one-dollar silver coin. So you multiply it times twenty, 20. and it comes out to twenty-five to one. Oh, that's but interesting. But that that ratio was established just from yeah. com doing commerce, commerce, doing business. Fascinating. Thanks. I, I've often wondered how the historic ratio factored in, or what was the basis of it. Does do you think that ratio? That doesn't make sense now, though. Well, We're 19, off the gold and silver standards. In 1980, I mean, right? it, it did go back to 16 to 1. Okay. Because silver went to $50 an ounce. Yeah. Gold went to $800 an ounce. Yeah. And, um, you, uh, you know, that could be traders being traders. <clears throat> they wanted mm -hmm. to get back to what the original coins were. Mm -hmm. um, you know, who knows? I mean, that's 2011. The traders just wanted to beat the all-time high close. Right. Which they could, fell short by about 20 cents.
So one last question about the ratio. Right now, silver actually plummeted quite a bit today. It was weird. Gold yeah. kind of hung in there, but we're down, what, 3.5% or something on silver. It's crazy. Yeah, it is kind of crazy. So that means the ratio went up. Uh, maybe yes. we're at, what, 88 to 1 Probably or something? Somewhere, somewhere in there. 87, 89, 90, something like that, yeah. What What is, in your opinion, what is the right ratio, do you think? What, what would be the, the, what makes sense? Now that we're off gold standard and all that, I mean, what what should that ratio be in your estimation? I think silver should be um, where mining silver is profitable, and that's the that's the biggest problem. Silver will tend toward supply and demand, right? And we're seeing the supply is a little bit constrained right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because you know a lot of the silver came from the yeah. you know recycling of st sterling, right? right. And, you know, nobody's buying new sterling. Right. Um, so when all that's gone and there's not a lot of silver to recycle. 60, 70 to 1, does that make more sense? I think, I think right now it probably in the 70s makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, but it really will depend on supply and demand. Mm -hmm. And who knows, I mean, if one day we wake up and, we, and the wholesalers will all raise their prices and we'll know that the price uh, will start going up.